Welcome in to this very special edition of All Andy Alford right here on Clayfan 23. I am your host, Andrew Alford, welcoming you into the NHL Draft 2010. Oh, baby, this is this is the start of the 2010-2011 season in my book because these players will be practicing, getting used to the plays, getting used to the the other teammates starting tonight as round one begins in L.A. for the NHL draft. I've been previewing, showing you the board here. It's going to be interesting to see who you think I'm going to choose, by the way. And I'm going to reveal it right now. Here we go. There it is. The big board. I see Taylor Hall going number one tonight. He'll be the left winger from Edmonton. Boston will take Tyler Signet. And here's the interesting thing. Brett Conley will go for Florida. He's a left winger. The Jackets will choose Cam Fowler. Cam Fowler. I'll give you some stats on him. And we'll put the board back up in just a second. Cam Fowler, like I said, he's from Farmington Hills, Michigan. He has 55 games play. He has 8 goals, 47 assists, 55 points, and 14 penalty minutes. This season for the Windsor Spitfire. He has played with Taylor Hall. He has played decent hockey in the OHL. I think this kid's going to... If Columbus... Columbus is deciding on choosing to get Eric Gerbsen off. He's from Ontario. He played for Kingston, by the way. If the Jackets choose him, I think, in my honest opinion, he will be the biggest flop the biggest mistake the Jacket organization has made their entire franchise career these, these last 10 seasons. Because you choose uh, Klusla at the beginning of the season and you're, you're building up, you're building up, you're building up. But honestly, Dursanoff. Let me give you some stats on him this season. Including his knee injury, and including him having a case of mono. He has played 41 games this season. Two goals. 21 assists. 23 points. 68 penalty minutes. All together in his playing career. Let me pull this up for you. This is a, this is interesting. I want you to I want you to know this. biggest mistake the Jackets would make if they choose him right now if they choose him he has in total all together almost 250 penalty minutes we don't need another Jody Shelley we have Jared Bull that's out there and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something here. It's in the hockey news magazine, by the way. I get most of it. Here's the restricted free agents. We have Michael Blunden. Good player. He's a good player. Jared Bull, left winger. Hard to. He plays great defense. Why haven't we signed it back? Grant Clinson, defenseman. Twenty-five. Need to sign him. Here's another one. Derek McKenzie. Thunder. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and you know, the Jackets could go out to L.A. and make a deal. What we're hearing from the camp is, this morning, that Scott Housen is invitating, uh, is giving invitations to maybe trading down in the draft. That's a big mistake. That is totally a big mistake. Like I said, if we choose Gervinsoff, if we choose Gervinsoff, whatever the, uh, this kid, I think it's the biggest mistake that the Jacket organization has made. If we choose Cam Fowler, Cam Fowler is probably the best fit for the Jacket. Running out the top five, Gerberson would go fifth after Cam Fowler. He go to the Islanders. Play with Tavares. 
Tampa Bay would take Nino Niedermeyer. Carolina would take Alexander Pryskinov. And Atlanta would take Nick Brugard. That was the top eight. But if they choose Eric, there's there's got to be something that's not fitting in. Or they're going out for somebody. It just doesn't make sense. But Cam Fowler, in my opinion, should and probably will be drafted by the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's just my opinion. It's the 10th season. We're playing the Blackhawks. It's been 10 years since we played the Blackhawks on opening night, which is the inaugural season. And, you know, and another thing. We have, so, with the cap going up to $59 million, that gives us more money to open up. We are signing Nash for this big contract. But if we're giving, if, we're, if Nash is staying with the program, who is he going out to get? Answer me that question. Who do you in your mind, in your mind would you like to see go out? Here, here's some names for you. Here's some names for you. You ready for this? We could go out and get Jody Shelley. He's playing for New York. He's an unrestricted free agent. Bring him back. How about this name for you? Ilya Kovalchuk. 27. Left winger. Play him on the Nash line. Dan Ellis. Hot goalie. Help him out. Here's another one. You ready for this one? I'm giving you some Michael Layton. The goalie from Philadelphia. Giron isn't going to get younger. He's getting older. Mason is a young kid. He'll be the number one starter in my opinion. But honestly, we need somebody to back him up. How about this name for you? Sergei Gonchar. Or, or uh, got a better one for you. How about this? Manny Malhotra. Restrict, he's an unrestricted free agent in Tampa. Not Tampa, in San Jose. It's up to the Jackets. It's up to you fans to talk. S say out loud who you think is going to important. Put it, drop us a line underneath the show. We'll, we're going to be doing another edition of this after the draft breaking it down and we'll see what happens i'm andrew elford i hope you enjoy the draft tonight on versus at seven o'clock and then on saturday it will be an all-day coverage on nhl.com and also on nhl network i will see you on monday